Hello friends, welcome. Let us take a special kind of assignment problem. Unbalanced assignment problem and restrictions in assignment. What do you mean by the balanced assignment problem? Where there are number of workers and number of jobs equal, the assignment problem is balanced assignment problem. And as we know that we can solve only a balanced assignment problem. But in this case, we have four machines and five jobs. So we can say that this one is not a balanced assignment problem. So it is known as unbalanced assignment problem. The other, a small new point in this case is there are two places without any value of time. M3 and A dash. The interpretation is we can not assign job A to machine 3. Job A cannot be assigned to machine 3. In the same way job C cannot be assigned to machine 2. These two places are not to be considered at the time of any step of solving the assignment problem. There is no other importance of these two places. But to solve this problem first we have to make it a balanced assignment problem. What to do? A very simple thing is to be done. If machines are less than jobs then add dummy machine or machines. If jobs are less than machines then add dummy job or jobs. Here machines are less than jobs so we have to add a dummy machine with zero time or zero cost. Now what? The same thing. First we have to subtract smallest value from all the rows and fortunately by virtue of this dummy row we have single zeros in all columns so we will not require step 2 but we have to perform step 1 that is row minus lowest in row m1 the lowest value is 9 so 9 minus 9 0 11 minus 9 2 15 minus 9 6 10 minus 9 1 and 11 minus 9 2 in row m2 this is not the lowest value the lowest because this is not a value this is 9 12 minus 9 3 9 minus 9 0 as it is we are leaving this place as it is 10 minus 9 1 9 minus 9 0 in this row also no effect in machine rather job a lowest value is 7 11 minus 7 4 14 minus 7 7 again 11 minus 7 4 7 minus 7 0 in m4 the lowest value is also 7 14 minus 7 7 8 minus 7 1 12 minus 7 5 7 minus 7 0 8 minus 7 1 in row 5 that is dummy all are zeros now check whether all the columns and all the rows are with at least one zero. Yes, in all columns there is at least one zero and in all row also there is at least one zero. So now we are ready for assignment and the first step of making assignment is find out the row with single zero. The first row itself is with single zero. Cancel all other zeros in the same column we are not going to make any assignment at these two places because this is the case with restrictions row m3 is also with single zero cancel all other zeros in the same column row m4 is also with single zero we have to cancel this one now this is turn off a column with single zero assignment already done in row column A in column B there are two zeros in column C there is only one zero so we have to cancel this zero in D assignment have already been done in E assignment has already been done now what now again it is turn off row with single zero after cancellation 
only one row m2 is with that type of zero so we have to make assignment to m2 let us check all the columns and all the rows have assignment yes so this is the optimal assignment or optimal solution of the assignment problem which was originally unbalanced and with restrictions what is the situation of total time machine job time in hours machine m1 m2 m3 m4 they are real machines m5 is dummy jobs a no sorry job machine 1 is assigned job a total time is 9 hours machine 2 is assigned job b total time is 9 hours again machine 3 is assigned job e total time is 7 machine m4 is assigned job d total time machine 4 and d is 7 and machine 5 is assigned job c <laughs> time is 0 because there is nothing like machine 5 job c is assigned to the dummy machine that means job c is not going to assign to any machine we are going to assign only jobs A, B, D and E and the total time will be 32 hours. Out of 5 jobs A, B, C, D, E, we can assign only A, B, D, E to our real machines M1, M2, M3, M4 and these 4 jobs can be done in 32 hours. Thank you.